Hello, YouTubers. It is hump day, Wednesday in East Tennessee. I'm Angela Logan bringing you the shenanigans on September 4th, 2019. Let me get right into my story. I'm bringing you a very tragic story out of Knoxville, Tennessee. A young lady by the name of Adriana McKenna O'Shea died on August 30th from being mauled by five dogs. Okay, the story goes like this. She allegedly went to a neighbor's house to retrieve her purse that she had left there overnight. So, she gets to these people's home. I don't know if she retrieved the purse, got in the house, out the house. No details have actually been given of the, the comings and the goings of when the, uh, the attack took place. But a neighbor heard her yelling, stop Bosco, help me. So I don't know if this is the neighbor whose house she went to to get the purse or if this was another neighbor that was not disclosed as well. The neighbor reports her yelling to, for the dog to stop, yelling for uh, help me. And she also reported that she saw the dogs attempting to take the young lady into the woods. The deputies show up. They shoot the dog because they said the dog was trying to attack them. Now the dog is reported to be a black lab mastiff mix. Okay. Very tragic. Very, very, very tragic. Now, the young lady is unresponsive, unresponsive, so she is taken to the hospital where several days later she passes away from her injuries. She was a recent graduate of Heritage High School and a cheerleader. She worked at Walmart alongside Walmart, excuse me, getting a little country there. She worked at Walmart alongside her mom and her boyfriend. Her services will be on September 6th and will be, be buried at Old Piney Cemetery. <sighs> My condolences and prayers to this family for losing their teenage daughter in this horrific way because allegedly she's supposed to be trying to go off to school and this is just tragic you know a young lady losing her life if I'm not mistaken she was 19 years of age don't quote me because you know each time I read a story they give different versions of people's ages and things but anyway her name is Adriana McKenna O'Shea passed away from being mauled by five dogs let me say this Where were the owners of the dog while she was out there hollering and screaming? Where were they at? Oh, mind you, there's something else I left out because I kind of skim over my notes because reading and talking to you can, you know, get a little distorted. When they shot the first dog, the lab mastiff mix, they went and found the other four hiding on the side of the house. And they took them to the animal hospital and they were euthanized. Excuse me, left that out. Excuse me. So... One was shot by the police initially when they got to the scene because allegedly the dog was trying to attack them. Then the other four were found hiding on the side of the house and they took those four to the uh, animal hospital and they were euthanized. <sighs> oh, so much to say. You can't, I can't even get it all out. What the hell is going on? Five dogs from the same owner attacked this young lady. And I'm assuming she knew these people because she called the dog by his name, Bosco. So, how do you have five dogs with different breeds mixed up? I also read in an early report that one of the dogs was a pit bull. So, here you got all these different breeds of dogs. And just out of the blue, they attacked this girl. Now, I don't know if there's been any other incidents where, they, where these dogs have hurt or harmed anyone. But this is sad. This is very sad. And yes, fault lies on the owners because you raise these things. Now, I'm also going to say this to people who are dog owners. Stop saying what your dog will and won't do. <clears throat> because one, you don't have control over a two-legged dog. So you definitely don't have control over a four-legged dog. And you can't say what a dog, your dog will do. Because I hear this so many times when people and children are attacked by animals that... He, she won't do that. He's friendly. He's this. Oh, but don't provoke him. Or, 
or you hear, oh, maybe she was smelling some type of way, or they smelled fear on them. You know, you've been hearing that ever since I was a child. Oh, if you're fearful, they'll bite you. Well, you know what? I am fearful. Yes, I am that one American that is afraid of dogs. I used to come to Tennessee as a child visiting my grandparents here in Tennessee, and they were dog owners. My grandparents raised Dobermans and hounds. My grandfather was an avid hunter, so he used hound dogs to hunt. But I still was leery of them. I still often question why I still had a fear of dogs, why I have a fear when I was around them as a child. But I remember growing up in Chicago, I see big dogs running. I was scared of them. Well, guess what? I'm 48. I'm still scared of them. And I get tired of people trying to say what a dog will do, what their dog will do. You have no control over your damn dog. It's a dog. It can't talk. It can't tell you nothing. And the fact that them five things dr tried to, they drug that girl toward the woods, they were, were hey, going to finish her off. Finish her off. And what's sad is when the cavalry came, she laid up in the hospital for several days and she died. It's like, don't you people get it? This is serious. We have the right to roam as we see fit. We have the right to go outside that front door and go where we want. We should not be looking over our shoulders from humans. We should not be looking over our shoulders from damn dogs. Because it's one thing to fight off one dog. You can die from being mauled by one dog. Five? The hell can you do being attacked by five dogs? There's nothing you could do. I can't even imagine what she was going through. I can't imagine the person who was standing there watching. Can you imagine being the person watching and can't do anything? So that's why I'm sitting here like, where the hell were the owners? Where were they? Oh, I'm livid. I'm pissed off. I'm angry because it's, it's sickening to me. And I guess I take it personal because I am fearful of dogs. I just started walking recently. I don't want to be attacked by a dog. I don't want to be trying to barter with something that can't talk. Hello? Took a walk last week. Subdivision behind me. Get over the hill. Lo and behold, these eyes can see good, baby. I see a dog a little ways up at a house in the driveway. Looks like a boxer. You think I didn't turn around? Huh, I sure did. But before I was able to put them feet opposite direction, there's the owner grabbing him. Why is he out without a leash? Oh, I get it. You let him go out to use the restroom. Well, see, you wrong for that. Because that's all it takes is for him to see something, a squirrel, a monkey, coyote, I don't know, and decide he want to go play, go run down the street and chase him, then here is old faithful walking. What am I going to do? Freeze to death, use the bathroom on myself, standing there with this thing, don't know what to do, don't know if he's going to harm me, don't know which direction to go in. It's baffling and it's sad. And I'm angry as hell because I'm one of those people who want to walk and roam. I want to be able to walk down the street or around the corner for a stroll. But now I can't even do that. Rather, it's daytime, nighttime. And mind you, when I took this walk, it was nighttime, which is dangerous to be out, of course, at night by myself. But it was my choice. Because I like walking at night. I always have. But I don't want to be chased by a dog. I don't want to be attacked by a dog. I don't want to be chased or attacked by a human. And I am just beyond myself. When I first read this story last week, I was so sick to my stomach because I was like, this poor child, can you imagine what she went through? The fear that was in her. And then the moment they attacked her, it was on. And I can't imagine having to fight for my life from a dog or dogs. Well, all five are dead. I don't know what's going to happen to the owners, but I believe they need to pay the piper. They need to put their tails in jail, too, because anytime there's animal cruelty or animal issues of attacking people, they either put the dog down, but they don't do anything to the owners. They might get a hefty fine, told they can't possess another animal. That don't mean nothing to me. That ain't going to mean nothing to the dead. That ain't going to mean nothing to that dead person's family. These people need to pay because just like some people like to argue on these social media sites about raising vicious animals, that's why they probably attacked her, blah, blah, blah. 
That's why animals attack people because their owners raise them. Why can't you just accept the fact that, yeah, maybe people are cruel to their animals? You know, people like to fight pit bulls, woo, woo, woo. But the point still remains, it's an animal. And you're trying to barter with the mind of an animal and assume what an animal will do. And you cannot. I don't care if he was friendly for the first six, seven years of his life. Well, maybe the day he turned nine, nine on his ninth damn birthday, he decided he want to bite somebody. Now what? Yeah, I'm angry. I am disturbed. Angry. Because she's snuffed out by some damn dogs. And I don't think people really realize how crazy that is. Because you take, you don't really just sit and think about when you walk out the door. You can just be going to your car. Boom, here come a dog. What you gonna do? That's my point. Oh, you gonna pet it? Oh, come here, you're cute. Hey. I don't want to hear nothing about having fear of dogs. I don't want to hear none of that because every day you hear terrible stories of dogs mauling people, attacking people, and they knew of the people. People went around the dogs. The children were raised with them. And yes, pit bulls do get a bad mix because I heard this, a pit bull was in the mix too. There was a pit bull in one of those. That, that was one of the dogs in an earlier report. It's bad. And it's sad. People want to rally and act like, well, pit Bulls are nice dogs if you raise them right. And I got a pit and he ain't bit nobody. That's you today. But who's to say what that pit will do tomorrow? And that's how I feel on that subject. And I don't want to hear no more craziness about what a dog will do. Because when you start talking about what a dog will do, you sound like a fool. A utter fool. This baby girl's gone. And somebody had to bury her. And she's going to be buried this week. And so nothing you saying about pit bulls and this breed and that breed. That doesn't mean anything, you see, because a person lost their life because they were attacked by five dogs. And that's the sickening part. Not one, but five. She lost her life with five dogs. And there ain't nothing you can say to excuse that or sugarcoat it. Give me a commentary below. Tell me how you feel. And I'll be back with another video of shenanigans and mayhem signing out in east tennessee thanks a lot bye